The casting process for Mr. Roberts, the 1955 film, was a careful selection of talents that brought out the best in each character. The production company sought actors who could embody the spirit of the characters and create a harmonious on-screen chemistry. Henry Fonda, who played the lead role of Mr. Roberts, was a natural fit for the part. The film's producers had initially considered other actors, but Fonda's previous success in similar roles made him the top choice. James Cagney, who played the role of the tyrannical Captain Morton, was cast after a series of auditions. Cagney's ability to portray both the menacing and vulnerable sides of the character made him an ideal choice. The role of Ensign Pulver, played by Jack Lemmon, was initially offered to other actors. However, when they declined, Lemmon was given the part. His comedic timing and ability to bring depth to the character made him a standout. William Powell, who played Doc, was cast based on his reputation as a skilled and versatile actor. The producers believed that his experience and talent would bring depth and authenticity to the character. The casting of the supporting characters was equally important. Each actor was chosen for their ability to contribute to the overall dynamic of the cast. The result was a well-rounded and talented ensemble that brought the story of Mr. Roberts to life. In conclusion, the casting process for Mr. Roberts was a careful selection of talented actors who could bring depth and authenticity to their characters. The on-screen chemistry and individual performances made this classic film a memorable one. I'm back last night. Book, sir. No, sir. Get that gangway up, mister! And I mean... The director of Mr. Roberts, John Ford, was a true veteran in the film industry. Known for his distinctive visual style and ability to elicit powerful performances from his actors, Ford brought a unique vision to this classic film. Ford's approach to Mr. Roberts was deeply influenced by his own military experience. Having served in the Navy during World War I, Ford was able to infuse the film with a sense of authenticity and realism. He worked closely with the cast and crew to ensure that every detail, from the set design to the uniforms, was historically accurate. One of Ford's most notable contributions to Mr. Roberts was his use of visual storytelling. He employed a number of innovative techniques, such as deep focus and low angle shots, to create a sense of tension and drama. Ford also made use of the film's stunning Pacific location, using the ocean and the sky as a backdrop for many of the film's most memorable scenes. In terms of performance, Ford encouraged his actors to bring a sense of realism and authenticity to their roles. He worked closely with Henry Fonda, who played the title character, to develop a nuanced and complex portrayal of a man struggling to maintain his sanity in the face of adversity. Ford also fostered a collaborative and supportive working environment, which allowed the cast and crew to bring their best work to the screen. Overall, Ford's directorial vision for Mr. Roberts was characterized by his commitment to realism, his innovative use of visual storytelling, and his ability to bring out the best in his cast and crew. The result is a film that continues to resonate with audiences today, thanks in large part to Ford's unwavering dedication to his craft. Say there's something wrong with my eyes or my feet or my head, you can trump up something. Set in 1955, Mr. Roberts is a delightful classic that brings a mix of humor, surprises, and emotion. Starring beloved actor Henry Fonda, the film paints a vivid picture of Navy life during World War II. Its enduring qualities, such as the sharp wit, and genuine camaraderie transport us to a time when the characters' dreams and realities intertwined. As we delve deeper, you'll find your favorite character and cherish funny, heartwarming, and poignant moments. The movie's timeless appeal lies in its relatable themes and the portrayal of dreams deferred. Tell us, which character left a lasting impression on you? And what personal experience or cherished memory does Mr. Roberts evoke for you? We invite you to share your stories in the comments below as together, we explore the many layers of this cinematic gem. Work. Well, I think it will. Haven't you tested it, Frank? It's gotta work. It's just gotta work. I'll take it down to the laundry. That's my laboratory. I got the production of Mr. Roberts, the 1955 film, was a significant endeavor with various challenges and innovations. The set design was quite ambitious, aiming to recreate the interior of a World War II cargo ship. The film's art department built a full-scale mock-up of the ship's interior, including the crew's quarters and mess hall. This allowed the actors to perform in a more realistic environment, enhancing the film's authenticity. The filming locations also played a crucial role. 
Scenes were shot aboard the USS Orleg, a real destroyer, to capture the authentic feel of a ship at sea. However, filming on a moving vessel presented its own set of challenges. The crew had to devise ways to stabilize cameras and other equipment to ensure smooth footage. They employed innovative techniques, such as using gyroscopic stabilizers, to minimize the impact of the ship's movements. Another logistical challenge was maintaining the illusion of a ship at sea while filming in the controlled environment of a studio. To achieve this, the special effects team used large water tanks and miniature models of the ship. They combined these elements with careful lighting and camera work to create convincing sea scenes. In terms of technology, Mr. Roberts was one of the first films to use the then new widescreen process, CinemaScope. This technology, which provides a wider aspect ratio than traditional film, allowed for more expansive and immersive sea scenes However, it also presented new challenges, such as lighting and framing shots to fit the wider format. Despite these challenges, Mr. Roberts was a technical and artistic success, thanks to the dedication and innovation of its production team. That's a hospital. In the 1950s, a classic film called Mr. Roberts graced the silver screen, leaving a lasting impression on audiences. The movie, set on a cargo ship in the Pacific during World War II, follows the story of a chief officer named Mr. Roberts, played by Henry Fonda. The film explores the relationships and power dynamics among the ship's crew, offering a glimpse into the human side of war. At the heart of the story is Mr. Roberts, a well-educated and ambitious officer who longs for a transfer to a combat ship. His immediate superior, the stern and authoritarian Captain Morton, played by James Cagney, refuses to grant Robert's request. This dynamic creates tension and conflict as Roberts must balance his desire for adventure with his duty to his crew and the ship. The film features a talented ensemble cast, including William Powell as the ship's wise and compassionate doctor. Powell's portrayal adds depth and nuance to the story as he serves as a mentor and confidant to Roberts. Jack Lemmon, in an early role, plays the ship's bumbling and lovable Ensign Pulver who becomes an unlikely hero in his own right. Mr. Roberts is more than just a war film. It's a study of character and human nature. The character's struggles with authority, ambition, and camaraderie are timeless and relatable, making the film as relevant today as it was when it was first released. Despite its age, Mr. Roberts remains a beloved classic, thanks in part to its memorable performances and engaging storyline. It's a film that has stood the test of time offering viewers a glimpse into a different era while still resonating with contemporary audiences. Whether you're a fan of classic cinema or simply looking for a compelling story, Mr. Roberts is sure to deliver. Surgeon, Doc! Oh, oh, yeah, Doc. yeah and, and you just go right off with Doc. Well, he... In the 1955 movie, Mr. Roberts, music plays a crucial role in complementing the narrative and emotional tone. The film's score was composed by Bernard Herrmann, who was already an established figure in Hollywood having worked on projects like Citizen Kane and Psycho. Herman's score for Mr. Roberts is characterized by its nautical themes, reflecting the setting of the story, a cargo ship in the Pacific during World War II. The music swells and ebbs like the ocean, mirroring the emotions of the characters and the rhythm of life on board the ship. The main title theme, for instance, features a lilting melody played on a concertina, an instrument commonly found on naval vessels which sets the tone for the film's blend of humor, drama, and adventure. The soundtrack also includes several popular songs from the era, which are used to great effect in the film. One such song is Well, You Needn't, a jazz standard by The Lonious Monk, which plays during a pivotal scene where the crew throws a wild party. The upbeat, energetic tune perfectly captures the spirit of rebellion and camaraderie among the sailors. Herman score and the selected popular songs work together to enhance the film's narrative and emotional tone. The music underscores the character's longing for freedom and adventure, while also highlighting the bonds of friendship and loyalty that form among the crew. In an interview, Herman once said, Music is like the air you breathe. It's there to support and enhance the story, not overpower it. This philosophy is evident in his work on Mr. Roberts, where the music subtly yet effectively complements the narrative making it an integral part of this classic film. Hey, uh, boy, we thought you were up in the radio shack listening to the war news. Don't you want to go out to the wardroom and get a cup of coffee? Yeah, sure, I'll go. In the making of Mr. Roberts, tensions were high when director John Ford was temporarily removed from the project. 
Joshua Logan, co-writer and co-director of the successful Broadway production, was called in to reshoot certain scenes deemed ineffective by the producers. Although Logan received credit as a writer rather than a co-director, both he and lead actor Henry Fonda agreed that the film lacked the caliber of its stage counterpart. Notably, after analyzing Ford's previously filmed footage, replacement director Mervyn Leroy chose to mimic Ford's signature style during reshoots. Despite these efforts, the film failed to capture the essence of the initial direction. Nevertheless, Mr. Roberts earned recognition in American Film Institute's 2000 compilation of funniest films, demonstrating its impactful comedic elements. Delving deeper into behind-the-scenes details, Jack Lemmon later revealed that Leroy studied Ford's methods, aiming to maintain consistency across the entirety of the production. By following Ford's approach, Leroy sought to preserve the continuity of the overall vision despite taking over midway through the process. Say, basically they all did. And with just one idea in mind. In the movie Mr. Roberts, one of the most iconic scenes is when the character Douglas Roberts, played by Henry Fonda, finally receives his long-awaited liberty leave. The scene is a powerful demonstration of his joy and freedom after being cooped up on a Navy cargo ship for so long. Director John Ford expertly captures the exhilaration of the moment through the use of sweeping cinematography. The camera follows Roberts as he runs across the deck, shedding his uniform and diving into the ocean. The bright blue waters and sunny skies contrast sharply with the dull gray of the ship, emphasizing Roberts' newfound freedom. Fonda's performance in this scene is also noteworthy. His face lights up with pure delight as he jumps into the water, and his laughter is infectious. It's a moment of pure, unadulterated joy that resonates with audiences and leaves a lasting impact. According to Fonda, this scene was one of his favorites to film. He later said, that scene where I jump into the water was a real highlight for me. I felt like I was finally able to let loose and have some fun after playing such a serious character for so long. The impact of this scene is still felt today, as it has become one of the most enduring images from the movie. It's a powerful reminder of the importance of freedom and the human spirit's ability to triumph, even in the most trying of circumstances. Another iconic scene in Mr. Roberts is the final confrontation between Roberts and the ship's tyrannical captain, Morton. The tension between the two characters has been building throughout the movie, and it finally comes to a head in this intense scene. Director Mervyn Leroy expertly builds the tension through the use of close-ups and tight shots. The camera focuses on the faces of Roberts and Morton, highlighting their anger and frustration. The use of shadows and low lighting adds to the sense of foreboding, as if a storm is brewing. James Cagney's performance as Captain Morton is chilling. His eyes narrow as he confronts Roberts, and his voice is low and menacing. It's a powerful portrayal of a man who has let his power go to his head, and is willing to do anything to maintain it. Cagney later said of the scene, it was a real challenge to play a character like Morton. He's such a despicable person, but I had to find a way to make him believable and human. I think we were able to achieve that in this scene. The impact of this scene is significant as it marks the culmination of the conflict between Roberts and Morton. It's a powerful moment of triumph for Roberts and a reminder of the importance of standing up to tyranny and oppression. Overall, the iconic scenes in Mr. Roberts are a testament to the power of great direction, performance, and cinematography. They leave a lasting impact on audiences and remind us of the importance of freedom, human spirit, and standing up for what's right. In the film Mr. Roberts, a talented cast comes together including three Oscar winners Henry Fonda, Jack Lemmon, and James Cagney, as well as two Oscar nominees, Nick Adams and William Powell. This classic film marks a significant moment in Jack Lemmon's career, as it was here that he struck up a lasting friendship with James Cagney. Before filming Mr. Roberts, Lemmon had begun his career in live television, where he once decided to play a character left-handed, despite being right-handed. His successful deception even fooled his wife at the time. Years later, on the set of Mr. Roberts, Cagney revealed that he had heard about Lemon's clever trick and asked him, are you still fooling people into believing you're left-handed? This exchange marked the beginning of a strong friendship between the two actors. Henry Fonda, a close friend of John Wayne and a member of the director John Ford Stock Company, faced some challenges during the filming of Mr. Roberts. Fonda's political views differed from those of Wayne and fellow actor Ward Bond, causing some tension. 
Fonda's relationship with Ford also became strained when he objected to Ford's direction of the film, resulting in a physical altercation and Ford's replacement. Overall, Mr. Roberts brought together a talented group of actors, some of whom formed lasting friendships, while others faced personal and professional challenges during filming. First way out there and I'm here, well I don't want to be here, I want to be out there. I'm sick and tired of being alive. In 1955, Mr. Roberts graced screens nationwide, leaving a lasting impression on its audience. This classic war comedy drama, set aboard a Navy cargo ship during World War II, offered viewers a unique blend of humor, camaraderie, and tension amidst the backdrop of military life. The film struck a chord with audiences by presenting relatable characters navigating universal struggles, longing for purpose, seeking personal growth, and forming close bonds despite challenging circumstances. Audiences connected with Ensign Frank Pulver, played by Jack Lemmon, who won an Oscar for his portrayal of the discontented sailor. His comedic timing and authentic emotions brought levity and depth to the storyline. Moreover, Mr. Roberts made significant contributions to popular culture, inspiring various adaptations across different mediums, including television series and stage productions. Its influence could also be seen in later films that explored naval experiences, further solidifying its status as a touchstone work. On another note, the movie sparked conversations around power dynamics and mental health within hierarchical structures like the military. By focusing on Lieutenant Robert Palmer's struggle against Captain Morton's oppressive leadership style, it shed light on the emotional toll imposed on individuals subjugated under rigid authority figures. Additionally, through its nuanced depiction of soldiers grappling with boredom and fear while stationed far from home, Mr. Roberts underscored the human side of warfare, reminding viewers of the sacrifices made by servicemen and women worldwide. Decades after its release, these themes continue to resonate strongly, reflecting the timeless nature of the stories we tell ourselves about service, duty, and friendship. And take a shower and get into some clothes. Hey, we just got time to get back to the day! <laughs> And the novel claimed to be completed by Ensign Pulver in the movie, God's Little Acre was printed in an Armed Forces edition, even though the New York Society for the Suppression of Vice attempted to censor it. Henry Fonda initially wasn't the top pick to portray Lieutenant Doug Roberts in the film adaptation due to his age, which led the producers to consider Marlon Brando and Tyrone Power beforehand. Nevertheless, director John Ford strongly advocated for Fonda since they had previously collaborated successfully. Despite initial disagreements between Fonda and Ford during filming, the latter eventually departed due to supposed gallbladder surgery, while Mervyn Leroy and subsequently Joshua Logan stepped in to finish directing. Both names appear in the final directorial credits. Ward Bond, who acted in the movie, has quite the impressive resume with appearances in 13 different films that received nominations for the Academy Award for Best Picture, including Gone with the Wind, The Maltese Falcon, and it's a wonderful falcon, and it's a wonderful life. Suffer in that sack for the purpose of doing a favor for someone else? Now let's just not have any more of that usual attitude. Mr. Roberts, a 1955 film, received positive reviews from critics and audiences alike. The New York Times praised the movie for its spirited and often funny performance by Henry Fonda. The film also gained popularity among viewers, with many appreciating the humor and relatable characters. The movie was based on the novel and play of the same name, and it tells the story of a cargo officer, Lieutenant Doug Roberts, serving on a Navy cargo ship in the Pacific during World War II. The film explores themes of duty, leadership, and the longing for freedom. Mr. Roberts received several award nominations, including four Academy Award nominations for Best Picture, Best Actor in a Leading Role, Best Sound, and Best Film Editing. Although it did not win in any of these categories, the nominations themselves were a testament to the film's quality and impact. The film's success also had a significant impact on those involved. For Henry Fonda, the film was a career highlight, and his portrayal of Mr. Roberts remains one of his most memorable roles. The film's director, John Ford, was already an established filmmaker, but Mr. Roberts further solidified his status as a master of the craft. In summary, Mr. Roberts was a well-received film that left a lasting impression on audiences and critics. Its award nominations and critical acclaim were a reflection of the film's quality and the talent of those involved. Hey, I'll have one with you. Next. The U.S. Navy initially opposed the making of Mr. Roberts due to the unfavorable portrayal of Captain Morton, a character they did not want the public to associate with the Navy. 
However, John Ford, the film's director and a former Navy captain, used his connections to secure the Navy's cooperation. Ford also leveraged his Navy contacts to obtain an old cargo scow for the film's setting. The movie's production faced another challenge when William Powell, who played Doc, struggled to remember his lines, a problem he had never experienced before. This, along with his frail health and difficulty with the Hawaii location shoot, led to his retirement after this film. Despite these challenges, Mr. Roberts was made and became a classic. The Navy's initial reluctance, Ford's determination, and Powell's final performance all contributed to the film's production and ultimate success. Help me. Now, it won't do any harm to tell you that you helped me win that palm tree by working cargo. In the heat of a California summer, the cast and crew of Mr. Roberts found themselves working tirelessly on the USS Constance, a naval ship transformed into a Hollywood set. This classic military drama brought together an eclectic group of actors, each with their own unique stories. Henry Fonda, known for his genuine personality, was so dedicated to accurately portraying the character that he often stayed out of sight between scenes, diligently studying the novel the film was based on. His immersion into the role led to many memorable moments, like when he playfully sprayed co-star James Cagney with a fire hose off camera. James Cagney, famous for his tough guy roles, surprised everyone by being quite the prankster on set. He would sneak up behind unsuspecting colleagues and douse them with water, keeping spirits high amidst the long hours and hard work. The film also marked the first time Jack Lemmon worked with director John Ford, who had a reputation for being difficult lieutenant. However, Lemmon held his ground and even stood up to Ford during a heated argument over a scene. Their tumultuous relationship eventually resulted in one of Lemon's most iconic performances. Behind the scenes, tensions were equally palpable due to the intense competition among the large ensemble cast vying for screen time. Yet, these challenges only seemed to fuel their determination and dedication to creating a timeless piece of cinema. Despite the sweltering conditions aboard the makeshift Navy vessel, the cast and crew persevered, delivering a powerful story filled with laughter tears, camaraderie, and conflict, all while forming bonds that lasted far beyond the rap party. Indeed, the journey of making Mr. Roberts remains as captivating as the film itself. In the final scene of the movie, an intriguing detail catches the eye. Actor James Cagney, who plays the role of the captain, appears to be engrossed in a Disney comic book. It's a surprising choice for a character known for his stern demeanor. The cast of this classic film included notable stars like James Cagney and William Powell. Powell, with his four Oscar-nominated performances, including in The Thin Man and The Great Ziegfeld, brought a wealth of experience to the set. However, there was a casting change that might have gone unnoticed. Eva Marie Saint was initially cast as a nurse, but she was replaced because she was deemed too attractive for the part. The role was eventually played by Patricia Neal. This film is a testament to the enduring appeal of classic cinema, with its compelling storyline and talented cast. It's a reminder that sometimes, the most interesting details are found in the smallest moments. You know, it does taste a little like... Mr. Roberts, the 1955 film, holds a significant place in Hollywood's history. This classic, adapted from a successful Broadway play, marked a pivotal moment in American cinema. It brought together an ensemble of celebrated actors, including Henry Fonda, James Cagney, and Jack Lemmon, who would all go on to receive Academy Award nominations for their performances. The movie is often remembered for its witty dialogue, memorable characters, and insightful commentary on military life during World War II. The story revolves around a cargo officer, Lieutenant Douglas Roberts, who longs to escape the tedium of his shipboard duties and join the action in the Pacific. Mr. Roberts left an indelible impact on future filmmaking. Its innovative approach to storytelling, blending humor, and drama proved to be a successful formula that many filmmakers would later emulate. The movie also showcased the power of ensemble casts, demonstrating that a great story could be elevated by the collective talents of its performers. Moreover, this classic inspired several subsequent works. In 1965, a television series adaptation was released running for three seasons, and introducing the story to a new generation of audiences. The film's themes of duty, ambition, and camaraderie have also been revisited in various forms of media, including literature and theater. In essence, Mr. Roberts remains a timeless piece of cinema, 
its legacy and influence continuing to resonate in the world of film and beyond. Did you know that Mr. Roberts hit the big screen in 1955? This classic has touched the hearts of many, leaving lasting impressions and influencing perspectives on cinema. The film brings to life the story of a man who longs for adventure while serving on a Navy cargo ship during World War II. Its captivating narrative and compelling performances still resonate with audiences today. We would love to hear about your personal connections to this timeless piece. Share your favorite moments, memories, or ways it may have inspired you. Your stories help create a vibrant tapestry of shared experiences around great films like Mr. Roberts. Perhaps you were moved by Henry Fonda's portrayal of the lead character, or maybe Douglas Henderson's performance left an impression. Or, did the humor sprinkled throughout tickle your funny bone? Don't forget to engage with us further. Give this post a thumbs up, spread the word among fellow cinephiles, and join our community by hitting the subscribe button for more fascinating journeys into the world of cinema. Let's keep the conversation going. No, not Abernathy. Baker. No. Bob, 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 Bob. Bob.